Well guys, MGB GT, perfect starter classic these. We do lots and lots of these as you know. And I'm a bit of a fan because I think if you can't get on with an MGB, you're not gonna get on with anything in the classic world. I think that's a fairly, a fairly accurate statement really. They are so forgiving, they drive as close as you're gonna get to a modern car. Parts are everywhere, parts are cheap. They maintain the value. They do everything really, you know, whatever's on the tin, they do it. So I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a tour around. There's one build number there. I've taken also a number for what it's worth off your engine block there. It's not uncommon for these, obviously, I've engine replacements over the years, but it might well be the same number there. If not, honestly, guys, don't worry. Do not panic. You know, we're not talking about £250,000 worth of E-Type here or something. Oil cooler on there as well, just before I shut the lid down. Sound in there. In fact, if the key's in it, I always forget that bit. If the key's in it, we'll have it fired up. Oh, oh nice bit of wood inside. Oh, straight up. Good oil pressure there. Sounds fit enough, guys. Got some upgrades inside. We've got some leather seats. Upgraded gear knob. The wood veneer on the dash. Lovely Motolita style steering wheel. That's a nice, there's a nice feel on that. And look, half a tank of fuel, that's probably what, 100 quid nowadays, isn't it, the way the world's going. And a period wireless, which is actually, it lights up, whether it works or not. Is there anything actually, I don't know if there's any anyone actually broadcasting on, on FM nowadays, or long wave, medium wave, that was FM, 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 Dave. Dave, did you say FM? I did. So there she is. So yeah, inside wise, door cards are nice, door shuts are clean, seats upgraded, we mentioned the other bits in there. In the boot, a little bit of paint left in the tin, there half a litre in the bottom of the tin, which is nice for a few touch-ups, and nice plates there to go on, spare plates, brand new wheel, looks like a new tyre on there from what I can see. All the floor in there is really good, look, that's all nice, sound in there, yep, yeah, spot on. The boot itself is nicely presented. Boot lid, no dramas on the boot lid. That's all good. Looks nice in there from there. And then the near side again, good on the shuts. Nice and clean. Very smart, nicely presented little car. Door bottom's all good, look. I've taken Oh, lots of photographs for you, about 60 odd photographs, all the usual bits, the seams, the usual bits you can see from above and some bits you, 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 you can see from below. Nice little car, real straight little car that. Nice on the body, look at that, nice and dead straight down there. Seals are good, still got your jacking point there on your seal. All the seams, like I said, all the seams are nice. Nice and straight and where they should be. All the usual suspects. That's proper there, isn't it? That's nice. Nice lines there. Good all round the rubbers. So basically, guys, it's a good all round car. Castle sections there, look. They all look good. So do your floors. Jackie points, like I can say, they're all there. Have a quick look around the other side before I sign off. There you go. That'll give you a good insight, I think, to what we've got. And it's here nice and early. We've got five weeks this time till our next sale. So a big window of opportunity to come down and have a look. We try and do the, um, the, the bulk of the viewings that last week before, uh, before a sale. For a number of reasons really mainly because they're all here secondly because they're stationary they're already parked up so that makes it safer and thirdly because we've got time on our hands to help you whereas on a normal day with are that busy moving stuff about loading stuff unloading stuff processing stuff we haven't got time whereas that last week we have got some time to actually have a chat with you guys 
and, uh, and and tell you basically a little bit about what we know what we know about these cars so but you come whenever you like have a look see what you think <laughs>